Uh, hello students and welcome again to my channel. My name is Mr. Meshak Ngige and welcome to e -Mars with Mr. Meshak Ngige. And today we're going to be looking at a very interesting topic and that is the ordinary differential equations. And we're going to be checking a specific method that is used to solve differential equations and that is called the D operator method. We're going to start with um, a simple, uh, I can call them simple, uh, because we have a function where you are derivative your function or your ordinary differential equation has zero as the fx on this other side right together so we're going to check them in different methods so yeah so keep posted so if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe share and also comment and let me know how i can help out as we learn together uh, in the field of mathematics all right now let's jump into our question directly so determine the particular solution uh, of the function given or uh, the equation so it's supposed to be the equation uh, given that x uh, x equals to 0 y equals to 4 and uh, this first derivative gives you 9 all right now so we shall be solving each question as we as we work it out so we'll sh this uh, there shall be something we shall be uh, figuring out as we solve so that you can understand the differences when it comes to finding something called other roots now remember we are using the what the d operator formula are we together so how do you solve this equation so if you check here we have the second derivative we have the first derivative and we have the variable y and equals to what equals to zero so when the first step is always to write so write in d operator in d operator okay the d operator means when you have second derivatives you change instead of having the second uh, two deriva uh, the derivatives twice you replace them with d squared differentiation once replace it with d are we together that is the d operator method so we are saying where I have d squared y dx squared, I replace it with d squared. Where I have, now there's no y. Where I have d dx, I replace it with, uh, with d. Are uh, we together? The reason there's no y here is because y represents a function. So a function can be written in very many letters, okay? It can be P, it can be Q, it, any, any particular letter can represent a function. So that's why we are only uh, focusing on the, uh, the derivatives themselves, okay? The first degree and the second, uh, the second degree and the first degree. So now we rewrite this in terms of D operator. That is the first step. So we have 2D squared plus 5D minus 3. Then we have our Y outside should give you 0. <coughs> Are you together? 2d squared for this, plus 5d, 5d, then minus 3, then the y. If you open this y here, it is this y, this y, is this y, and this y. Are you together? So we now solve this particular equation. So we solve uh, the auxiliary equation. So replacing, so the second part is replacing d with m. And we solve this part of the equation right together. So we shall have 2m squared plus 5m minus 3 equals to equals to 0. So for us to solve this particular point. Now, so we solve this. Now you find two values. Remember this is just a quadratic equation. So find two numbers. When you multiply, you get negative six. When you add, it gives you five. Remember, it is two times negative three. So the product is negative six. The summation is positive five. And those two numbers will be what? Uh, so two numbers where you multiply to get negative six, you can have, um, you can have six and negative one. Is that true? Yes, 6 and negative 1 uh, gives you positive 5 when you add, and uh, it gives you 
uh, negative 6 when you multiply. So you split these into 2. So we have 2m squared plus 6m. Uh, then we say minus m. All right. Then minus 3 should give you what? Should give you 0. So remember, why do we split this part? When your quadratic equation, the value here is not 1. You cannot, uh, you cannot just write the roots directly. But when the value here is 1, uh, it is so easy to write the roots. Then factor out in 2's. So what is common between this term and this term? So we have 2 and we have m. Are you together? So what do you remain with here? m what do you remain here we have two z2 three so it will be three such that when you multiply this and this gives you 2m squared this and this gives you 6m then minus so you have to put a value remember there's nothing in common except one so you have to write remember the value here should be the same as the value there in the first place so this part and this part should be here. So that one can also guide you in what to put here. Do you put a negative, do you put a positive, and so on and so forth. And you can see, when we put a negative 1, when you multiply this and this, gives you negative m. This and this gives you negative, negative 3, then equals to 0. So you take the outward numbers. So that remember, this is just algebra, okay? Minus 1, and we have, uh, we have m plus 3. That one should give you, should give you 0. Are we together? So therefore, what will be the values of m? Remember, we are finding, we are interested in finding m values. So it is either 2m minus 1 equals to 0, which gives us what? 2m equals to 1 divided by 2 divided by 2. So our m value can either be a half or we come to the second part, m plus 3 equals to 0. Therefore, m gives you negative gives you negative 3. How right, together? So we have just solved this particular quadratic equation for us to find the to find the roots. So therefore our m is this value or this value. So either of them. Now the question now comes in how do you write a general solution? Remember we're supposed to find uh, to find a particular solution but first of all we start by how do you write the general solution now if your roots are real and different real and different your general solution is written in the form of a r y equals to a exponent alpha of x plus b exponent beta of x where alpha So, if they are real and different, so we shall have y equals to a exponent of alpha x plus beta exponent of beta x, where alpha and beta are the roots. Are you together? Where alpha and beta are the roots. So, we are saying, um, so in our equation, therefore, we are saying, what are our roots? A half and negative 3. So our general solution will be a exponent. Our first one is a half x plus b uh, exponent. What is our second one? Negative 3x. So our general solution here will be given by this. All together. General solution. Now the particular solution involves finding the value of a and the value of b so you need to find the value of a and b for you to get the particular solution that is why you have been given the what you have been given the limits so we have so now taking so we start with the first limit when x is 0 and y is 0 you start with the first part so replace y is 4 so replace where we have y put 4, where we have x, put 0. So we shall have 4 equals to a exponent. What is a half times 0? 0. Plus b exponent. What is negative 3 times 0? It gives us 0. 
and anything to power 0 any value to power 0 is always what 1 so here you shall remain with 4 equals to a plus b right together so here you cannot solve you cannot say uh, you, you you have found the value of a and b right together now you go to the second part you have been given the limit of uh, dy dx so since we have y we can get dy dx are we together yes so like we can just have it here so we have dy dx all right so differentiate this function with respect to x so drop the constant so we shall have a half a exponent a half x are we together then drop the constant so our constant here is what negative 3 so if you drop it it becomes negative 3 b exponent negative 3 x so you'll have two functions one is y function the second one is dy dx now the same way you have done there then replace again the values the same way so we shall have dy dx is given by what 9 so we shall have so we are saying when x is 0 and dy dx gives you 9 so you'll always be using x and dy dx x and uh, y so now dy dx is 9 so replace 9 there so you have 9 equals 2 then you have a half a right then exponent here is 0 so you'll have a half times 0 gives me exponent to power 0 then minus 3b exponent again times 0 just gives you 0 and together so again we shall have 9 equals to a half a because this one becomes 1 then minus 3b so we shall have that so for us to remove uh, the constant uh, in the denominator multiply everything by by 2 right together everything by 2 so that you can remove this denominator here so you multiply this one by 2 gives you what 18 equals to a minus this one by 2 6 what 6 b so we have two equations and we can solve them simultaneously for you to find the value of a and the value of what b so now we have a plus b equals to 4 and we have a minus 6b equals to uh, equals to 18. Now using elimination method eliminate a. So eliminate a. You can just write it here. Eliminate a. So because it is the easiest to eliminate is it? Yes it is the easiest. So we have uh, how do you eliminate a? You subtract, yeah? Subtract the 2. So a minus a, 0. b minus minus 6b. So negative, negative, negative gives you positive. So therefore you shall have 7b. Right together. Then 4 minus 18. 4 minus 18 gives us negative 14. So divide by 7, divide by 7. So your b gives you negative, negative 2. So you have your b value there. Now we can um, we can also get our value of a. So since our a is negative two, we can replace it in this equation. So replace uh, replace b in one. So in equation one, you replace b. So you have four equals to a. What is our b? Your b is negative two. So take this to this side. So four plus two equals to a. So your a value gives you what? Gives you 6. Therefore, your particular solution gives you y equals to, so it is this part, eh? so 6 exponent a half x, right, minus 2 exponent negative 3 x. And that is your particular solution. Are you together? So the first question that you have just done is when your roots are real and different so let me just uh, note it somewhere here they are real and to the 
different pen they are real and different so at any point the auxiliary equation will always be given uh, the when you solve the y part when they are real and different this will always be the way to write it this particular uh, this is the general solution so when you are writing the general solution when they are real and different then this is the general way of writing it then determine dy dx input your limits and you find your particular values now let's check the second type of the ODE.